Witnesses are saying that people had to jump off the balcony here. Let me get out of the way here. This started around 10 o'clock last night. Fire crews are still on the scene here. You can see them going from apartment to apartment here, and they've been here again since around 10 o'clock last night when this fire started. So far, we know that two people were taken to the hospital, including an elderly woman who is in critical condition this morning at last check. Now, for those familiar with this area, this is at the Colby Square Apartments, which is at the 2200 block of Colby Avenue. And witnesses, they really describe a desperate situation where people were jumping off their balconies and throwing their dogs and cats to people down below. There was talk that the fire started in a stairwell uh, that would have been used for the escape. So that is why people were trapped in all 14 units with up to 20 people uh, have been impacted. One woman living across the street says that she saw a giant ball of fire, heard explosions, and she tried to help people escape. People were jumping off the balconies, um, like throwing their animals and dogs and cats. So I ran across the street to the corner and kind of just help people toss whatever they needed to toss at me. Now, the Red Cross has also been nearby to help some of those displaced folks. They've had a bus set up where people can keep warm. In the meantime, we know that that investigation continues. A spokesperson said that it appears there were smoke detectors in each apartment building. However, this apartment building is older. It was built either in the 50s or the 60s, and there was no centralized sprinkler system. But we should say, as far as we know, there were no code violations at this point. We are live in Everett. Michelle Lee, King Pie Mornings.